Yo, what's good guys? Coach of Tech here. So today we got a Chinese air cooler to review. Yo, let's go. All right, so check it. This is from up here. You copping on Amazon. I want to say like around 30 bucks, 25 bucks. You know how those coupons and on sales are. But anyways, this is an extra, extra budget air cooler. You know, I did plenty of air coolers and whatnot. Check out the Chinese air cooler uh, playlist that I got over there. But this is the, the copper, the up here copper five. Now, we're gonna get into a second for bashing this box. Shout out to you cats for giving me a suggestion. You know who you is. I did forget who you is, so my fault on that. But anyways, the presentation of the box is trash, man. Like, look at this. Like, it just says up here. It doesn't even give us the name of the cooler, so it is what it is. We have this model number, X002 PC, there, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is where it's made in China. Uh, let's just get to it, man. I mean, it's, it's gonna be pretty quick and whatnot. Of course, we're gonna go over installation, you know, all that other, all that other stuff. This success. I mean, this is like extra budget, but let's just put this like that. Okay, let's put this like this. Um, package is pretty decent, I gotta say, you know, for the extra budget. It is what it is, patching is nice. Uh, anyways, instructional guide. Instructional guide, instructional guide is very always important. Uh, wow, okay, I gotta say, I mean, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't go cheap on the instructional guide. Um, I'll have all the specs and whatever I missed in the description below just to, you know, speed up the video and whatever these, whatever, you know, compatibilities or whatnot, everything's going to be the descri description below. If I missed anything, guys, just give you a heads up. Instructional guide, I got to say, is pretty dope, as you guys can see. Wow. For very, actually, I'm surprised. I'm blown flipping away, man. This is actually very informative and very helpful to a user, especially a new user. But please check all the accessories. Gives you a breakdown. Confirm the motherboard slot type before installing. So this is, works for AMD and Intel. Of course, we have AM3 all the way to AM4. We have 1366 to 775. Um, if there are any other compatibilities, like I said, it's gonna be linked below. Insert, basically just shows you how to install everything. Very nice. Broken down very, very well. I'm actually, honestly, honestly, very shocked. Of course, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys essentially how to install it and all that other stuff. Essentially, this is the accessory guide, what we just looked at in the uh, instructional guide. Um, just looking at this, I believe this is a backplate for the, uh, or, or inst I gotta actually see, this might be a backplate for the AMD socket, and this might be for the Intel socket. Again, I'm gonna show you guys all of that once I have everything in. These are the, I hate these little clamps, you clamp on the fans. Uh, screws, we got some up here thermal paste. I will be using this thermal paste when testing uh, the cooler. Uh, testing the CPU performance and all that. We have all these screws to get everything going. But anyways, let's get into the cooler. Now, I believe it comes in white and black, but I did get it in white. I gotta say, in, in white, it just pops. Very nice. We have how many coppers? We got one, two, three, four, five. So we got fi uh, five copper heat pipes over here. Uh, not too bad. We just have some extra budget, cheap um, cord over here. So this is your four four pin uh, PWM header. Plug this into any of your, you know, PWM header, maybe even a CPU fan header if you want. And this is your three pin ARGB five volt header. I believe for these fans, you gotta plug in the five volt header for them to you know, have their RGB and whatnot. But again, we will go over that. Make sure you guys peel this plastic and then put it in install. Uh, but very nice, the fan is already pre-installed. So they actually give us additional clips to install an additional fan. I will just be using one fan. I like the fact that's already pre-installed. So we have the up here uh, logo over here. Decent design. I mean, it's all sprayed white. This is, this is plastic. The fan is plastic. It's mostly all aluminum and whatnot. But yeah, let's get into the installation. Let's get into testing and let's see if this thing is worth it, Joe. Let's go. So I have the front plate as well as the back plate installed. And like I said, and mentioned in the beginning of the video, the instructional guy is pretty simple. I got to say, breaks down everything. Uh, I wish it was a bit more informative in the sense of uh, the screws you get and what they're for, but they should give you pictures and whatnot. And they explain to you, you know, all the directions and whatnot. But I guess it's very, very simple. So you have the front plate and then as well as you have the back plate, which you install, which I have right over here, the, uh, the chrome looking thing. And that's basically, and you have these retention screws. You put in the, um, you put in the, where is it? You put in these, where you see these E things over here, these plastic things in first and then you just take the retention essentially just screw them on that's basically it and then you're going to put the cooler and then you're going to screw on the retentions here with these screws in the baggie right here if it focuses and that's basically it it's that uh simple and that informative let's get into the testing all right so the cooler is installed i mean it's looking 
really really nice i didn't know that it's gonna actually light up here with rgb lights dope the fan of course is argb as well just all lit, lit up and whatnot it looks absolutely beautiful uh we do have a ryzen 7 2700x running at four gigs at all cores we got a cpu temperature currently at 33 degrees celsius uh but, but what do we have we have the fan running at well, i want to say like 1155 rpm as you guys could see here so this is just idle temps i'm showing you guys uh right now we're gonna run uh a to 64 in the background and check out those and then we're gonna run a to 64 with valley and check out the temps let's go all right so we got uh 64 degrees basically running at current temperatures uh the fan is going all the way up to 16,000, basically 1630 rpm again ryzen 2700x running at all cores at four gigs uh, now i just want to give you guys a quick sound test but as you guys can see basically all the information is here and of course let me give you guys a sound test and then we're going to run um after uh what do you call it msi afterburner as well just to make it even more hotter now i gotta say the fan is not that loud it's not that bad whatsoever on idle uh, an idol it was I mean, you guys didn't hear but an idol was only running a thousand rpm but it was not bad i i gotta say this this fan that they have in here is pretty decent it's not bad whatsoever but anyways let's run afterburner so we got valley running in the uh, in the background of course we have eight to 64. so the temps are fluctuating so it went up all the way see it says 79 i didn't see it go up to 79 exactly i'm not sure if this is the max i saw go up actually 75 degrees celsius right now it's just sitting at 73. i gotta say man for the price this thing is honestly pretty beast. In the description below, you guys are gonna see other tests, which I tested with this system, with this processor, with other coolers, and you guys could compare essentially the averages and the mins and the, and the max temperatures to give you guys a better idea into the best cooler you guys wanna get for yourselves. But I gotta say, this up here, was it up here five, copper five? Thing is pretty beast, man. Thing is really, really pretty beast, especially for the budget. Let me know what you cats think in the comments. Of course, guys, I'm Coach Tech, I'm gonna catch cats next time. Deuces.